Flynn, I'm about to make you so happy. Flynn, I have a huge surprise for oh, you. Whoa, what is it? Come here. Is, it, is there a butterfly in there? <gasps> what is it? Caterpillars. Caterpillars. So many caterpillars. Are you so excited? Yeah. So Flynn asked for me to get caterpillars. We've done this before. You get little caterpillars and they come in this little jar and then they grow really fast and they go in their little chrysalis the cocoons, and then they are like that for a couple weeks. It takes a long time. And then they turn into butterflies and we let them go. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. Are you so excited to watch your caterpillars become butterflies? Look, it's butterfly. I mean, it's caterpillar. It came, Flynn. And what are they gonna do? They're gonna change into butterflies. So exciting. We've done this a couple times and I feel like every time I'm like, oh, he's gonna like it even more now. The last time we did it, you really loved it. Do you remember? So oh, hi, butterfly. <gasps> <gasps> when they become butterflies, they'll be in here. When they become, um, when they go in their little cocoons and their chrysalis. Yeah, after when they do their cocoons, we can put them in there. Yeah, that's correct. So I'm just gonna put the little parts in there so that we don't lose them, and then we're gonna put food on this so they can eat food when they become butterflies. Wow. Isn't that cool? So why don't you put that in there, and then here's your little book that teaches you about butterflies. Oh, and this one too. This one teaches you about butterflies too. In the meantime, you have to watch the caterpillars because they're babies and they grow. So you have to protect them. We have them. to protect them. So we have to find a really safe place in the house for them, okay? Where should we put our caterpillars so we can watch them every day and be really careful with them? We gotta find a good spot. Oh my gosh, you guys are probably so sick of watching me open packages because it's like literally all I do now on this channel is just open packages, but I just got a lot of packages. <laughs> so I'm gonna open these. This should be interesting. Okay, first things first, we got curtains. I needed blackout curtains for the baby's room. We needed blackout curtains because it's too light in there and I want them to be able to take naps in their room and not my room anymore, but we need blackout curtains. That was a oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh, Flynn is moving the entire pile. Of this seems dangerous. Oh, that's so cute. I just feel like this is not the best idea, but. You want me to open this one? Oh, this one! Holy smokes, that's a big pile of packages! Oh, this is for a video, this is for a video. Oh, more poppers for my show. You know when Coco and Andrew made confetti go everywhere on the, in my show and it went like all in the sky and it was so pretty? Yeah. Remember that on stage? Yeah. So that's, these These make the little stars fly in the sky. So I got more for my show. Oh, I'm so excited. I bought these cute heaters for the babies. They're little bobas. Cute. I'm so excited about this. I just I see, like it. That. That's so cute. I'm so excited about that. I have matching boba shirts for the whole family. So the fact that they have little boba teethers, oh my gosh. I've got to buy boba tomorrow and we should all be matching and I should take pictures of all of us in our little boba shirts. It's gonna be so cute. Other blackout curtains, cause I didn't know which ones would be better. So I'm gonna return whichever ones don't work. I think most of the stuff I bought is for a YouTube video that you guys will see eventually. But this, I was excited about. I get duped by ads in the middle of the night and I'm like, I need that. Like this is a water bottle, but like why did I buy this? this this is like a sip of water for me. What am I gonna do with this? Why did I buy this? I guess I thought it was cute. Flynn, do you like this water bottle? Yeah. Do you want it? Yeah. It's for you. Yeah. So you put water in this hole and you can screw the lid on or you can put your straw in. This one's interesting. I'm not going to explain further, but it is for my live show. And I have, it looks like I have some formula over there, which I'm so fortunate and happy um, about that because I know there's a really scary formula shortage happening right now. And I feel so bad for all the moms like who are freaking out about where they're gonna get formula. It is so scary. I am so grateful because the formula company that I get formula from sent out a message saying they can't take any new customers. And I was freaking out. I was like, oh no, does that mean I can't get formula from them anymore? But since I was already a subscriber, I can still get the formula, but I've had a really terrifying moment of like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna feed my babies? What am I gonna do? And I know that a lot of formula feeding moms are feeling the same way right now. Yeah, I hope this formula shortage gets sorted out soon because it's really scary. I think all of the other thing, the only other thing I have is formula, guys, which isn't very exciting for you guys to watch me open, so that's it. Okay, so Drew did a great job doing the twins room. And I love these curtains. I think they're 
really pretty and they match the room well, but I need blackout curtains. And since I'm not a designer, I don't know what I'm doing. Clearly this is the right vibe. Like you've got kind of a big rainbow over here and you've got the drapes for the babies here and the cribs are like a pink and a gray greenish. So you want like a neutral curtain, right? Like that would be like a normal human being's thought, especially when there's like pieces like this that are kind of like neutral and earthy tones, whatever. Well, I'm an idiot and I was like, well, if they're only gonna have these blackout curtains for a little bit, I'm gonna make it fun. So I got pink ones, which I feel like is kind of crazy. And I got rainbow ones because hello. Like why not, you know? Drew is shaking in his boots right now. He's probably like, if, I hope he never knows that I did this. Obviously those curtains are the ones, those are it. But these have like holes in them for like stars. So they're not quite blackout. I thought it'd be fun to have like rainbow curtains. So they look like this but they're rainbow and they've got like this sheer part over it and behind is like little stars. I'm gonna try to get them up on that pole and see. They also got pink ones in case this is like too crazy. But I thought it'd be cute because there's like the rainbow on the wall and there's the rainbow shelves and I was like, oh, and rainbow curtains, just rainbows everywhere, just so cute. So that's why I got these, even though they're kind of crazy. I know that's like against the rules with designing. You have like pieces that pop, but then white or neutral colors to like tie it all together so it's not too crazy, but like I'm a crazy girl, what can I say? Are they gonna be too short? I think they're too short, guys. I told Eric to measure it. And this is the measurements he gave me, but now I'm realizing they're too short. No. That's very unfortunate. I also got pink ones, but these rainbow ones are so fun. I was so excited. Ugh. So I also got this like muted pink color, but that's not as fun. The rainbow ones are more fun. Let's check if these are too short too. Eric literally said he measured it. Maybe he measured it wrong. Do we like this color? Can you even see it from there? Probably not. Do we like her? What do we think? I'm so sad about those rainbow curtains, guys. That would've been so freaking cute. See, like, look how cute that is. You can't really see because there's a white in front of it. And they're like, rainbows? Come on. I'm really sad about that. Not the wrong size. Flynn's doing bath time and I'm hanging out with the babies and they're kind of talkative. So I'm wondering if I can get them to say their first words. Let's see if I can get Maisie to say hi and Wesley to say yeah. Maisie. <laughs> hi. Maisie, where's mama? Where's Hi. 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 Almost, she almost said it. Hi. <laughs> Wiggle worm. She doesn't want to talk. Maybe Wesley will talk. Oh, now you want to talk? Can you say hi? Do you want out of that thing? There, is that better, Maisie? Is that what you wanted? You just wanted to cuddle your brother. What are you doing? Why are you licking your brother? Hi. Can you say, yeah? yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. You guys holding hands? You holding hands? I think Maisie wants to eat. I think they're hungry, so I actually should go. Maisie's literally eating her brother, so I need to feed them some milk. Okay, so hello everyone. It's Saturday, and I was looking for something yummy, and so I ordered some yummy food, and I couldn't decide, so I just got kind of everything. Crumbles patisserie. I'm sure I'm butchering the pronunciation of that. What do you think I got? I didn't know. <gasps> These are the prettiest eclairs I've ever seen in my life. I love them. You love them? Yeah. Look, they have gold on them. Are you? I, I want to eat them. You want to eat it? Can I eat it too? Yeah. What if we both eat a side? I eat one side and you eat one side. No, no. One side. One for me and one for cut. One for you. You want to cut it? You don't want to bite it? Can I bite it? Yeah. Which side should I try? Uh, this side. Okay. <gasps> mm? You wanna try? Yeah. Ooh. What do you think? Mm. You like? Oh. Mm, that's a really good latte. I need to order from this place every day. Oh my gosh, look Ooh. at this packaging! What is this place? Why am I not ordering from here every day of my life? <gasps> oh! I love them. I love them too. Oh my. God, I was not expecting these desserts to look so fancy. I'm very surprised because when I was ordering these, it said pastries and I was like, I wonder what these are. And I was just kind of picking random ones. They're kind of expensive. So I was expecting them to be nice, but I wasn't expecting them to, like they were like six bucks, five bucks each, but I wasn't expecting this. This is crazy. Okay, wait, which one? There's like gold flakes. I know. Okay, which one do you want to try first? <laughs> that one? Okay, hold on, let me take it out. So this is the one Flynn wants to try first. So it looks like this and there's flowers on the top. That's what it looks like on the top. How is it? I think this is an actual rose, so we can't eat the roses. You wanna try this crunchy? Yeah. Yeah. How is it? Good. You like it? Which one do you like better, this one or this one? That one. That one, can I try them? 
Mm. You like it, don't you? I don't know what the rest of this is. <gasps> There's strawberries in there, Flynn. Oh There's strawberries God. inside. Flynn wants to try this one next. Ta -da. It's kind of like a donut. It is kind of like a donut, isn't it? Looks like there's some almonds, some powdered sugar, some <gasps> frosting. <laughs> strawberries. Okay, I'll take out a strawberry because it has the leaf on it. Do you want to eat that with the straw with the frosting on it? How is it? Uh, <laughs> good. Mmm. Mm. That frosting is so good, Flim. It's like a cream. It's not even really frosting, it's like a cream. The pastry itself, a little dry, but the cream, very good. I have no idea what this is, and it had berries on the top, but they just fell off. It's like a crumbly looking cake. I don't know what this is, Flim. This is crazy looking. Should I try it? Mmm, I like that a lot. This one might be my favorite. Please, I can have this one. Sure, strawberry tart. What is this? Why is it? It's so good. I don't know what it is, but it's so good. Okay, I'm gonna take off the mint and gold off the top of this. Okay, cheers. Do you like it? Mmm. <laughs> hey, lovey. <laughs> you sit behind your back. What's your favorite? This one's your favorite? I like the like weird block of flakes, and this tart is super good. These strawberries, oh my gosh. So yummy, Flynn. Do you like it? What an exciting surprise. Are these the most beautiful desserts you've ever seen? I like the eclair. This one with the chocolate. I didn't buy the eclair. It's good. You like this one too? Yeah, I want to eat that. Mm -hmm. You want me to eat that part? I'm going to eat the gold. No, I want to eat it. Oh, okay. How is it? I want to eat it again. <laughs> okay. My boy's a chocolate boy, just like his mama. We like chocolate, huh? This is like the highlight of my day. What an exciting surprise. I was having such a hard time. <laughs> you can eat it. Yeah, you can do that. You can eat the sides too. It's like a cookie. Um, I was having a hard time because we're trying this new sleep schedule with the babies and it's going well with Wesley, but Maisie's having a very hard time with it. She just wakes up constantly. And this most recent nap we just did, she would only sleep if I was holding her for an hour and a half. And I was so frustrated because there's so much I wanted to do today and I couldn't get it done. And so I ordered these. I was like, I want a little like pastry or something and a coffee because I'm tired. I didn't sleep last night. So I ordered a coffee and pastries and what a nice surprise. I feel so fancy. Isn't this fancy? Fancy cool break. Fancy cool break. Yeah. <laughs> fancy cool break. <laughs> I love you. So yummy, Flynn. <gasps> oh, whoopsie doopsies. That was an accident. You okay? That was kind of an accident. Yeah, I know. It's okay though. Should we clean it up? Yeah, but it makes me mad. It makes you mad? Why are you feeling mad? Because it's, it was... yeah, it's all over the place, but I want to eat that again. But you're okay, right? You're okay? It's okay, because we got a lot of yumminess. So you can eat that and then should we clean it up? <gasps> okay. Yeah, I want to eat that right now. We can also eat that. Okay. Fun. That just like literally made me so happy. Oh wow, do I have a story for you. Hello everyone. Look at my cute little muffy babies. I can't really pick them up. I'm, I'm not good at picking up both at the same time yet. I mean, I can hold them both at the same time really easily, but picking them up at the same time is really kind of, all right, let me use this. Macy Jo. Well, that was a big fart. I don't know if that was a fart or a poop, but I'm about to get them dressed for the day. So um, I'm gonna tell you a crazy story uh, while I'm getting the babies dressed because maybe if I'm super distracted by twins, I won't start crying again. What a crazy morning I've just had. Look at Mr. Wesley, this cutie bug. Oh, big toots. You guys are toots my goods today. My goodness, they are farting up a storm over here today. Just woke up from our first nap. And while they were taking their nap and having some fun daddy time, this morning I went to like a mommy and me type class with Flynn because since things are finally starting to look safer in the world, I really wanna get Flynn involved in like some classes, activities, sports, you know, things like that, classes and whatnot, and socialize with other little kids. And so I've started enrolling him in different things. And so I decided to do a little mommy and me. Oh my gosh, the cat, babies are farting so much. So I decided to do a little music class with him this morning. It was an out 
outside social distance like music class and it was super cute and it was great. Flynn had a blast. He was singing and playing instruments and he has a little friend there that was there with us and it was a great time. Everything's fine until the class ends. So right before the class ends, I noticed this man kind of walking around us all sitting in a circle in the grass. We you know we're at a public park, big open park. And I just see this man, this like maybe 30-ish year old guy walking around, kind of looking a little suspicious and whatever, but I didn't think much of it. Like we're in LA. All different types of people everywhere. So I didn't think much of it. But then I noticed he's starting to walk closer to me and like walk around the circle like towards me. And I was like, Flynn, you're being paranoid, whatever. So Flynn's sitting in my lap and this man comes up and starts talking to me, but he's behind me. So I'm like, just trying to ignore him. I can't hear what him, he's saying. I was like, not really sure if he was talking to me or not. And the class is over and I'm talking to two moms. We're all sitting kind of talking. So then he's talking to me so much that I'm like, oh, I can't really ignore this. So I turn around and look and he's like maybe five fish farting in the middle of my story, Wes, really? <sighs> anyway, I turn and look at him and he says to me, you're so beautiful. And I was like, what? And he's like, you're so sexy, your face, your body, you're so sexy, you're so beautiful. He's like saying things like that, like you're so pretty, you're so beautiful. And it was like really awkward and weird. It wasn't like in a complimentary sweet way. It was like in a very creepy, uncomfortable way. Now I in general don't really like if men ever approach me in any situation at all. And that's my own personal issue. It has nothing to do with, I know not all men are bad, but for me personally and things I've been through, men really scare me. So I was very scared and uncomfortable, even though he was, you know, just saying things like, you're so sexy, you're so beautiful, you're so pretty. I'm like, my two, three-year-old son is in my lap. Like, you're creepy, like, what are you doing? And he just, he didn't seem all there. He was, you know, so I was like, um, okay. And he wouldn't stop. And he was kind of leaning down to me and my son's in my lap. And so I didn't want to be mean to this person. I don't know him and I don't know what his deal is. So I was just like, thank you, goodbye. You know, and I turned my back to him. And then the mom I was talking to is looking at him because he's behind me and her eyes widen and she's just like, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Just farts a million over here. I was like, what? She's like, he's pulled out his penis, we have to go. So I look and they're just farting so much, which is good because when I just told the story to Eric, I was crying. So like the farting is helping me to not cry. So I turn around and look and he's looking at me, touching himself in a public park with children. My son is in my lap and he's looking at me. <laughs> she's farting so much. <laughs> Um, pleasuring himself, if you will. And so I stand up with Flynn, I grab Flynn, I grab my things and I run. And so do my mom friends. We all just like briskly walk, run away. One of the moms let the teachers know that we're right there, that we're cleaning up, you know, the music class and they called the cops. I'm very, I'm seeming very calm and collected right now because my kids are farting and I'm, you know, trying to stay calm and collected, but it was awful <laughs> and terrifying and disgusting and demoralizing. It was just really horrible. And so then the cops came and they found the guy. I wasn't there when the cops came. I had like walked all the way to the other side of the park and I was saying goodbye to the mom I had met and, you know, just trying to like calm down after that weird experience that had just happened to me. Then a mom ran up to me and was like, are you the one that he did it to? And I was like, yes. And she said, the cop needs to talk to you because you're the victim. So I had to go file a police report. The cop I spoke to was basically just like, there's nothing we can do. <laughs> Which was really frustrating because there's a bunch of little kids there and you would think the police would want to keep children safe. Forget me, like even though he was doing it to me and towards me, like there are children everywhere. Like little kids, like babies. It made me really hate Los Angeles <laughs> because I don't feel like that would happen other places. I feel like it would be taken more seriously, but because stuff like that happens all the time here, it was just kind of like, whatever. But the cop was like, um, asked me to tell what happened and I told him that he was saying like sexual like compliments to me. I know Wesley, it was really weird. And then I said that he pulled his pants down just enough to reach his bits and was touching himself and pleasuring himself. And he said, did you see his penis? And I said, no. I said his hand was covering it and I wasn't really looking. I was trying to get my kid away. You know, I wasn't like staring in that direction. I just saw that his hand was there and that he was exposed, but I didn't like see it. You know what I mean? And he was like, well, you can't do anything unless I spoke to someone who saw it. Like, like unless you saw it. And there are other moms there and all these other moms were like, we all were there, we all saw it. But he's like, unless you physically saw his man, I don't wanna say man parts because he's not a man to me. He's like a trash, disgusting person. Anyway, he was basically like, I can't do anything. <laughs> 
I saw them take the guy, like they put him in a car, but it seemed like they couldn't really do anything about it. So eventually the cop did talk to the mom who literally saw his spits. And so I think they're able to like arrest him, but I filed a police report and it was really upsetting. The worst part about it all to me was obviously when something like that happens, maybe some women are able to just be like, oh, that's annoying, whatever. But to me, like, I feel very like violated and disgusting and I can't explain the feeling, like just trash. Like I feel, I know, sweet girl, come here, my little love bug. The babies want to be held, I think. Come here, big boy. Oh, yeah, it's a big boy. It's easier to pick her up first than him because he's a little bit sturdier than her. But anyway, I felt so just like violated and disgusting and I don't know, it made me really emotional and I just felt so uncomfortable and on edge and just like, taken advantage of. I don't know, it was really gross. Like dis it was so disgusting and you just puked. Maisie puked on herself right when I put on new clothes. That's really cool. So that all happened. I was feeling really awful and then the cop kind of was like, yeah, well just, you know, it seemed like he was intoxicated or something. So that's probably why he did it. Like it just was so like, it was like he made an excuse for him almost. Like I know he didn't, but like that's how it felt. So that was my crazy morning. Okay, I gotta feed these babies. I'll talk more about this later. Anyway, okay, the babies are downstairs by the pool. Um, we we're all just down there and they got their little bumbo seats today. They look so cute in them. I'm so proud of them. Here, I'll show you a picture. Look at them in their little seats watching foot in the pool. So cute. Anyway, um, since I was out there, my pants got all wet. So I'm putting on new pants. I didn't go in the pool, but Flint was splashing. Anyway, I thought since I'm babyless right now for a couple seconds, I could talk to you about the situation a little bit more. Maybe I'll end the vlog. Um, but yeah, it was really something that like you hear about. Like I've always heard about things like that. Like, I don't know, especially in LA, you hear about stuff like that, but I just never thought something like that would happen to me ever. It was like such a surreal moment. I feel like I'm still in shock that it even happened. It was so bizarre that like a random strange man who was being creepy to me and like touching himself at a park in front of a bunch of children and looking me in the eye and telling me I was like sexy or whatever. And I can't explain the feeling. I mean, I'm sure there are people out there who know this feeling. It feels like I need to bathe. <laughs> I feel dirty and violated and like so gross. I don't know. The only person on the planet I want to think any sort of intimate thoughts about me is my own husband. Certainly not a random human at a park while I'm holding my child in front of a bunch of other moms and kids. It was just so um, embarrassing and gross and awful and a horrible feeling. And I came home and told Eric and just started like sobbing. I just felt so bad. So I don't know. Maybe some, peop you, some people are going to say I'm like being dramatic and to some people it might just be like, oh, that's gross. But like whatever but to me it feels like oh, it was like triggering <laughs> it was just really a horrible awful way to start my day and it sucked because it was like a fun class with Flynn he had so much fun like singing and dancing and, and learning music and um the class was great and other kids were great and it was like such a good experience and in my head I was like oh he can come every week and like this is gonna be so good for him and now I'm like I never want to go to a park again <laughs> but yeah it was crazy and I still can't believe it happened and luckily Flynn didn't see like he was in my lap not looking that way and then I just stood up and obviously we weren't like screaming or freaking out or anything because we didn't want to freak out the kids we just like all picked up our kids and like walked briskly away and you know I'm talking to the cop and my friend was watching Flynn at the playground while I was talking to the cop and then the cop came over with me and I was like do you want to say hi to my friend this is a policeman like we had to just act like everything was okay when like inside I'm like freaking out so anyway it was a very bizarre horrible experience and um felt the need to share that with you guys for some reason but maybe that's where I, where I will end the vlog today just weird craziness I love you guys and this coming week's gonna be fun I'm going to my hometown to be in uh do a little cameo in my high school theater at a performance that's gonna be fun and I'm prepping for the show I think Corey and I are gonna rehearse this week again um and write some new stuff for the show because there's a lot of work to do on it and so it's a fun week coming up just a weird weekend yeah love you guys and see you tomorrow you can relax Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.